The Heart of Man, by All Nations Gospel Publishers. The booklet called The Heart of Man, originated in France in 1732. It was rewritten by All Nations Gospel Publishers in 1929. It is currently being printed by All Nations Gospel Publishers in more than 550 different languages, and distributed to 127 different countries. The different animals in the pictures remind us of different sins pointed out in the Bible. The Sinner's Heart This picture shows the heart of a worldly, sinful man or woman, described in the Bible as a sinner. Below the head in this picture, the heart of a man can be seen occupied by various animals, which speak of the many different sins in the human heart. God tells us by the mouth of his prophet Jeremiah, that nobody can understand the human heart. There is nothing else so deceitful, it is too sick to be healed. Jeremiah 17 verse 9 The Peacock While the beauty of the peacock is admired by everybody, here in the heart of man, it speaks of the sin of pride. Pride comes from the very center of hell and reveals itself in many ways. Some people pride themselves on their riches, their standard of education or fashionable clothing. The Goat The goat represents bodily desires, immorality, and adultery. Don't you know that your body is the temple of the Holy Spirit, who lives in you, and who was given to you by God? You do not belong to yourselves, but to God. 1 Corinthians 6 verse 18 and 19 the pig The pig speaks of the sins of drunkenness and gluttony. It is a dirty animal, eagerly swallowing up everything in its way, clean or dirty. In the same way, a sinful heart devours every immoral suggestion, expression, picture, literature and many more. The tortoise The tortoise speaks of laziness, sluggishness to obey, and witchcraft. A lazy man who refuses to work is only killing himself, all he does is think about what he would like to have. Proverbs 21 verse 25 and 26 The Leopard The leopard is a very savage and cruel beast. Hatred, anger, and a bad temper, often rule the heart of a man, and many times lead to murder. Keep your temper under control, it is foolish to harbor a grudge. Ecclesiastes 7 verse 9 The Snake The snake represents the devil who is very deceitful clever, and misleading, and does everything possible to destroy our relationship with God. The snake tricked Eve in the Garden of Eden and broke up the sweet fellowship and friendship with God. The Frog The frog speaks here of the sins of greediness and the love of money which is the source of all evil. 1 Timothy 6 verse 10. Certain frogs in the Congo have been seen eating ants by the hundreds until they burst and died. Satan Satan is the father of all lies and is the one who persuades us to sin, and then he rules our hearts. From the very beginning he was a murderer and has never been on the side of truth because there is no truth in him. When he tells a lie, he is only doing what is natural to him, because he is a liar and the father of all lies. John 8 verse 44 The Star The star speaks of the conscience in the heart of every man. This evil conscience may sometimes be quiet, sometimes troubled. Even in the bad heart the conscience is still there, but is being ignored, and cannot therefore help this person. The Eye of God The Eye of God sees everything that goes on in the heart. Nothing can be hidden from his flaming eye, and therefore he knows and sees all the secret thoughts and intentions of the heart. Whether you do your evil deeds in the darkest night, in the thickest forest, in the deepest ditch or wherever it may be, God sees it. The Little Tongues of Fire the little tongues of fire round about the heart show the love of God surrounding the sinful heart. While God hates sin, He loves man and does not want the death of a sinner. God wants us to turn away from our sins and live. Jesus came to save sinners. There is great joy in heaven over one sinner that repents. Luke 15 verse 7 The Angel The angel represents the Word of God. God wants to speak to those who have been deceived and are carrying heavy loads of sin. They must turn from their sinful ways and let the light and love of God come into their hearts. The Dove The Dove is a sign of the Holy Spirit, the Spirit who reveals the truth about God, about sin and what is right, and about God's judgment. John 15 verse 26. The Holy Spirit is shown here outside the human heart. He cannot live where sin rules. 
Jesus himself confirms this by saying, For from the inside, from a person's heart, come the evil ideas which lead him to do immoral things, to rob, kill, commit adultery, be greedy, and do all sorts of evil things, deceit, indecency, jealousy, slander, pride, and folly, all these evil things come from inside a person and make him unclean. Mark 7 verse 21 to 23. The heart convinced of sin. This picture shows the heart of a man who is sorry for his sins, and is beginning to look for God. Here we see the sinner beginning to take notice of the message of God, and to open his heart to the love of God. The Holy Spirit begins to shine into the dark and sinful heart. The light of God comes into his heart to drive all darkness away. When God's light comes in, darkness must go. Sin, described here by using all the various animals, must go. Therefore, dear friend, allow Jesus, the light of the world, to come into your heart, and darkness and the evil actions of darkness, must leave the heart, as shown in this picture. Jesus said, I am the light of the world. Whoever follows me, will have the light of life and will never walk in darkness. John 8 verse 12. If the Son, Jesus, sets you free, then you will be really free. John 8 verse 36. The Repenting Heart This picture shows the heart of someone who is serious about finding the right relationship with God. As he sees the cross which the angel, the Word of God, shows to him, it breaks his now sorry heart. He is moved with deep heartfelt regret and sorrow over his many sins. As he sees the great love of God expressed in Christ Jesus, this love melts his heart. He begins to understand that Jesus Christ, the Son of God, came to take away his many sins. Jesus was willing to die in his place on the cross. The love and peace of God enter his heart as he begins to understand that the blood of Jesus, his Son, purifies us from every sin. 1 John 1 verse 7 Create a pure heart in me, O God, and put a new and loyal spirit in me. Psalm 51 verse 10 Again, God's word says, I am pleased with those who are humble and repentant, who fear me and obey me. Isaiah 66 verse 2 Dying with Christ This picture speaks of a Christian who has found perfect peace and eternal salvation through the death of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. This person boasts in nothing else except only about the cross of our Lord Jesus Christ, for by means of his cross, the world is dead to us, and we are dead to the world. Galatians 6 verse 14 Jesus died on the cross so that we too might die to sin and live for righteousness, 1 Peter 2 verse 24, a Christian dead to the world. We are commanded to let the Spirit direct our lives, and we will not satisfy the desires of the human nature. Galatians 5 verse 16 and 25. Do you declare openly that you have given your heart to Jesus Christ, by what you say and do? Or are you ashamed to let others know? Jesus said, If anyone declares publicly that he belongs to me, I will do the same for him before my Father in heaven. But if anyone rejects me publicly, I will reject him before my Father in heaven. Matthew 10 verse 32 and 33. The Temple of God. This picture shows the clean and purified heart of the sinner who has been saved by God's grace and mercy. The heart has now become a true temple of God. Sin has been driven out. Instead of the various animals controlled by Satan, the father of lies, we see the Holy Spirit, the Spirit of Truth, living in the heart. He has now become a fruit-bearing branch of the real vine, our Lord Jesus Christ. The secret of this fruit-bearing is that he remains united with Christ, and Christ and his words remain in him. John 15 verse 1 to 10. Instead of being the breeding place of sin, the heart has become a beautiful, fruit-bearing tree or a garden, bearing the fruits of the Spirit, such as love, joy, peace, humility, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, self-control, and others, which are acceptable and pleasing to God and man. Galatians 5 verse 22 and 23. The Tempted and Divided Heart. This is the sad picture of one who has fallen back into his old ways. One eye is starting to close, showing that he is beginning to grow cold and sleepy in his relationship with God. The light inside has grown dim, and the pictures in his heart, showing his readiness to suffer with Christ, have fallen and are no longer upright. He is surrounded by temptations to which he is slowly giving in, instead of resisting them. Instead of listening to God's voice, he now begins to listen to the devil's cunning suggestions and false promises. 
although he may still be a churchgoer, hiding his desires for the things of the world under a form of religion, the love for God has grown cold in his heart. Obey the warnings of our Lord Jesus when he says, Keep watch and pray that you will not fall into temptation. Matthew 26 verse 41 Whoever thinks he is standing firm had better be careful that he does not fall. 1 Corinthians 10 verse 12 The backslidden or stubborn heart This picture reveals the condition of the person who has fallen completely into his old ways again, despite what God did for him. After this person was once in God's light and had tasted heaven's gift and received his share of the Holy Spirit, he has abandoned his faith. Hebrews 6 verse 4 Jesus himself described the backslider's condition when he said, when an evil spirit goes out of a person, it travels over dry country looking for a place to rest. If it cannot find one, it says to itself, I will go back to my house. So, it goes back and finds the house clean and tidy. Then it goes out and brings seven other spirits even worse than itself, and they come and live there. So, when it is all over, that person is in a worse state than he was at the beginning. Luke 11 verse 24 to 26 What happened to them shows that the proverbs are true, a dog goes back to what it has vomited, and a pig that has been washed goes back to roll in the mud. 2 Peter 2 verse 22 The Sinner's Judgment here we find the stubborn sinner who did not want to open his heart to God again. The false pleasures of sin have disappeared, and the awful reality of the high and dreadful cost of sin must be faced now. The agonies of hell are becoming real to him. Although he now longs to pray, he finds he cannot communicate with God whose love he has rejected for so long. His friends are afraid to stand at his bedside, and their empty words of comfort cannot help him now. His riches can neither lengthen his life, nor save his soul nor reduce the agony of his soul. He begins to understand that it is a terrifying thing to fall into the hands of the living God. Hebrews 10 verse 31. He had hoped to give his life to God when it suited him. This dying sinner who rejected the forgiveness and love of God during his lifetime, now must hear the voice of his judge, the Savior whom he rejected, saying, Away from me, you that are under God's curse away to the eternal fire which has been prepared for the devil and his angels. Matthew 25 verse 41 The Victorious Heart This picture shows a Christian who remains faithful and wins the victory over painful tests and temptations. While he is tempted on all sides, he remains firm and holds out to the end, being victorious through Jesus Christ. He has not only entered the Christian race, but he is continuing in it, running with determination keeping his eyes fixed on Jesus, on whom our faith depends, from beginning to end. Hebrews 12 verse 1 and 2 This person is ready to meet God and is like a tree that grows beside a stream, that bears fruit at the right time, like a branch of the real vine, bearing much fruit. He does not know the fear of death, for the perfect love of God, which he has received through the Holy Spirit, has filled his heart. He remembers the words of Jesus. Happy are you when people insult you and persecute you, and tell all kinds of evil lies against you, because you are my followers. Be happy and glad, for a great reward is kept for you in heaven. Matthew 5 verse 11 and 12 The Glorious Home Going Jesus said, I am the resurrection and the life. Whoever believes in me will live, even though he dies, and whoever lives and believes in me will never die. John 11 verse 25 and 26 Whoever hears my words and believes in him who sent me, has eternal life. He will not be judged but has already passed from death to life. John 5 verse 24. Death holds neither fear, nor punishment for the Christian. Death is destroyed, victory is complete. Where death is your victory. Where death is your power to hurt. Thanks be to God who gives us the victory through our Lord Jesus Christ. 1 Corinthians 15 verse 54 to 57. A person who has lived and walked with God is not afraid of death. When the time comes for him to die, he will go gladly, as the Apostle Paul puts it, I want very much to leave this life and to be with Christ, which is a far better thing. Philippians 1 verse 23 Happy are those who from now on die in the service of the Lord. Yes indeed. Answers the Spirit. They will enjoy rest from their hard work, because the results of their service go with them. Revelation 14 verse 13 Dear friend, may God help you to give your heart to him who loves you, for he is speaking to you now saying, Turn back to me with all your heart. 
Deuteronomy 30 verse 2 And you who have given your life to God, hold firmly to the true words that I taught you, as the example for you to follow, and remain in the faith and love that are ours in union with Christ Jesus. 2 Timothy 1 verse 13 To him who is able to keep you from falling, and to bring you faultless and joyful before his glorious presence, to the only God our Savior, through Jesus Christ our Lord, be glory, majesty, might, and authority, from all ages past, and now, and forever and ever. Amen, Jude 24 verse 25. Let us pray. My Father in heaven, I am sorry for the sins in my heart. I want your light to shine into my heart, to remove all the bad things that are ruining my life. Please give me a new heart and fill my heart with your own presence. Please help me to live a life that will be pleasing to you, and that will help me to be the person I should be. I ask this in the name of Jesus. Amen.